In this video, you'll find we are living in a modern renaissance, but it's not all pretty. Pretty much everybody has known about Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo. These renowned specialists made a portion of history's most famous showstoppers, and millions remain in line each year to see their work, which are tourist spots of the incredible accomplishments of the Renaissance. In any case, what accurately was the Renaissance? It was a period from around 1450 to 1550 during which preeminent accomplishments of logical and masterful virtuoso were made. However, it likewise had a clouded side. The term Renaissance itself is suspicious as it recommends something that is generally acceptable. Yet, in all actuality, the possibility of Renaissance Europe was created by 19th century European antiquarians as an approach to brace the remaining European countries. This idea of European social prevalence was then utilized to legitimize 19th century European government and imperialism across the globe. Regardless of the advancements made during this period by any semblance of cosmologist Nicolaus Copernicus, scholar Martin Luther, and adventurer Christopher Columbus, the Renaissance was additionally a period of incredible devastation and languishing. Sicknesses like smallpox were spread across seas, basically killing the Aztecs, Incas, and other Native Americans. Much the same as the Renaissance of the 15th century, our present new Renaissance has additionally been a period of incredible development. The new Renaissance could be said to have begun in 1990 with the fall of the Berlin Wall and the finish of the Cold War. Business network access started, and China ventured once more into the world economy. The world unexpectedly felt totally different, and authentic information backs up that sensation. For instance, the World Trade Organization or WTO, framed in 1995, is a groundbreaking image of worldwide financial progression, collaboration, and a profoundly extraordinary verifiable period. Today it numbers 161 individuals, addressing each significant economy on the planet. In any case, much the same as the renaissance of hundreds of years past, this advancement accompanies a powerful note. Simply consider the disastrous cost 30 years of phenomenal development have had on the climate. New innovation profoundly changed the renaissance world and the equivalent is going on today. Our reality is basically unrecognizable from the one that existed a simple 25 years prior. Legislative issues, the economy, and society have all drastically changed, opening up staggering equals between this cutting-edge change and the one that occurred in the 15th century. For example, hundreds of years back, the print machine changed correspondence over a time of simply a solitary life. It started around 1450 when the German businessperson Johann Gutenberg, 1395-1468, concocted portable sort. He utilized it to make the world's first major printed book, Gutenberg's Bible. Due to this discovery, an individual brought into the world during the 1450s could think back on her 50th birthday celebration to see that 15 to 20 million books had been printed during her lifetime. This number handily outperformed the number of books composed since old Roman occasions by all European copyists consolidated. This theoretical individual would even struggle to recollect a world without books, albeit the age before had depended exclusively on up-close and personal discussions and manually written compositions for correspondence. Likewise, the web has changed at a staggering velocity, the manner in which individuals today interface with each other in the world. Since 1988, when the principal intercontinental fiber optic links were introduced, the quantity of clients associated with this foundation has developed more than seven overlap. In 2000 it was 400 million, in 2005, it was 1 billion, and by 2015 it had arrived at 3 billion. Modern times stamped effectively the quickest mass selection of innovation in the entire of mankind's set of experiences, and one that fundamentally associated the entirety of humankind. Simply consider it along these lines, if Facebook were a country, it would have a populace of 1.5 billion, making it the biggest country on earth. What's more momentous is the way that two normal clients in this informal community are under four levels of detachment separated. The vast majority on Facebook know somebody who knows somebody who knows one of their friends. The new renaissance has implied better results in well-being and abundance than any time in recent memory ever. You can't peruse the news today without getting a genuinely terrible image of the world. Yet, is it actually all despair? In reality, today, the nature of worldwide well-being and abundance are at their most elevated level ever, in any event, for the most distraught populaces on earth. Future has ascended by just about 20 years since 1960, moving from 52 to 71 years. To place that in context, 
the most recent 20-year improvement in this measurement required 1,000 years to accomplish, not 50. Thus, a child brought into the world today for all intents and purposes any nation can hope to live more than at any past point in that nation's set of experiences. Crushing poverty has likewise seen an emotional improvement throughout the most recent 25 years. In 1990, something like 2 billion individuals were living beneath the World Bank's worldwide neediness line. By 2015, albeit the human populace had developed by 2 billion, the absolute number of individuals living in outrageous destitution on under $1.25 every day had dropped by over half to only 900 million. This advancement is the consequence of interconnected economies and improved clinical consideration. The extension of exchange and the positions it has made have helped raise the salaries of destitute individuals. The rivalry has expanded, which has, thus, brought down the costs of merchandise and ventures while boosting their quality. Accordingly, private companies and families on a tight spending plan have been enabled. During this time, mechanical progressions and better practices in open disinfection, clean water, cleanliness, birth control, antibodies, and medications, alongside developing public spending plans to help them, have helped battle infection. In 1990, 13 million kids younger than five passed on from irresistible infections like pneumonia, tuberculosis, and measles. In 2015, just 5.9 million youngsters passed on from similar diseases. Progress may be fast, but it's not equally distributed. The unimaginable achievements acknowledged during the main renaissance causes it to appear to be a magnificent cornucopia of progress. However, we presently realize that wasn't the situation. Truth be told, there were obvious indicators that the advancement accomplished during this period had dissimilar results. While normal government assistance rose during a significant part of the time frame, the abundance hole between rich and poor developed drastically. Accurate information from the principal renaissance is somewhat sketchy, yet all the data that is an accessible focus on an ascent in pay imbalance close by the extension of assembling and exchange. By 1550, in essentially every Western European town of any respectable size, the main 5 to 10 percent of occupants possessed somewhere in the range of 40 and 50 percent of the town's complete riches. This phenomenon was principally accelerated by falling wages on the lower half of the pay scale. Such cuts were felt especially intensely by females. Somewhere in the range of 1,480 and 1,562, a caretaker's wages didn't increment by any means, yet the expense of her everyday necessities rose by 150%. Outside Europe, matters were far more awful. Around 150,000 Africans were enslaved somewhere in the range of 1,450 and 1,550, and the European age of discovery implied the absolute annihilation of whole developments in the Americas. Obviously, an extremity among rich and poor is additionally key to our present renaissance. While normal worldwide government assistance is rising, the limits have become significantly more inaccessible. In 2010, the 388 most extravagant individuals on the planet controlled more abundance than the least fortunate 50% of the populace. By 2015, this number dropped drastically as only 62 individuals controlled more abundance than the base half. Then, the last 50% of society, some 3.6 billion individuals internationally, remain alive only on a couple of dollars every day. The advancement of the Renaissance caused significant issues, which we're additionally confronting today. In 1495, Italians started to encounter horrible symptoms brought about by a secret sickness. The survivors of this illness spat up blood and experienced heats up the size of their breakfast, which overflowed dim green vomit. The illness left individuals wiped out for quite a long time and some of the time years. Why is that? Indeed, sickness spread widely during the Renaissance, and we presently know this specific burden as syphilis. Within four years of its rise, this explicitly sent sickness had spread all over Europe and was a worldwide danger a simple five years after the fact. The destructive development of syphilis was encouraged by populaces concentrated in urban places. This urbanization made common relationships, which did ponder for innovativeness and social trade yet additionally delivered ideal conditions for the spread of sickness. Given the similarities among at that point and now, you may have speculated that the advanced worlds concentrated at this point liquid populaces produce practically identical dangers, for well-being, yet additionally in different parts of life. The enormous ascent in air travel flawlessly imitates the populous trade and financial linkages that empowered syphilis to spread all through Europe and across the ocean. 
A genuine model is the Ebola epidemic that broke out in December 2013 in West Africa. By March 2014, it had guaranteed 60 lives in Liberia and Sierra Leone. By mid-2015, more than 28,000 cases had been accounted for, alongside 11,300 passings. What's more, this was no mishap. Such monstrous entanglements show up routinely as symptoms of positive wonders like rising worldwide monetary ventures and the development of the staggering framework behind the web. Truth be told, the interconnectivity of the cutting-edge world implies that when something occurs far away, it's probably going to quickly turn into an issue at home. Simply think about the 2008 monetary emergency, which started in the United States however quickly turned into a worldwide issue. Or on the other hand take digital assaults, these information violations can be submitted any place on the planet and go after anyone, any place. Fear and uncertainty started by fast changes energized radicalism in the Renaissance, as they do today. As the universe of the main Renaissance developed at a staggering rate, individuals frequently experienced dread, uncertainty, and uncertainties. This environment demonstrated fruitful ground for revolutionary messages announcing destruction and a requirement for outrageous activity. Take Girolamo Savonarola, a Dominican monk who, in 1497, affected his over-the-top supporters to assemble each piece of proof they could discover of their peculiar new age. They chased out improper books, bare artistic creations and figures, foul fragrances, sinful writings, and colorful instruments. They heaped everything up in Florence's focal piazza and set it burning in what has gotten known as the bonfire of the vanities. As the universe of the main renaissance developed at a bewildering rate, individuals frequently experienced dread, uncertainty, and uncertainties. This environment demonstrated fruitful ground for revolutionary messages announcing destruction and a requirement for outrageous activity. Today extreme messages of scorn and radicalism likewise represent a danger. Simply take the ascent of Islamic State, periphery Christian categories that lecture Islamophobia and homophobia, orthodox Israeli Jews who attack gay individuals at pride marches and consider plots to bomb Arab young ladies' schools, and, obviously, the resurgence of neo-Nazi gatherings. They savaged everything up in Florence's focal piazza and set it burning in what has gotten known as the bonfire of the vanities. Along these lines, the Renaissance wasn't all incredible in those days and it's not all extraordinary at this point. However, does that mean what's to come is hopeless? As you'll discover in the following chapter, we have a valid justification to think about the opsite. In spite of the fact that they have disadvantages, advancement and genius can prepare for a superior future. This examination of bad histories and current circumstances can be somewhat alarming, however, it's fundamental to comprehend that even now and again when the world as far as we might be concerned may evaporate down the channel, there's as yet potential for gigantic great. Notwithstanding all the stressful improvements, there's additionally incredible advancement being made today. While radicalism and dread make it simple to be distrustful about the part of logical and creative advances in changing the world, there's valid justification to put stock in them. Be that as it may, it's hard to quantify this sort of progress as the increases delivered by demonstrations of virtuoso are frequently unquantifiable. The strength of developments in the production of abundance, well-being, craftsmanship, and equity is difficult to quantify in numbers. Be that as it may, new innovations are still significantly changing the manner in which we comprehend the world. Recall, a simple 20 years prior, we thought Earth-like planets were uncommon. Today, on account of better telescopes, PCs, and the great many space experts who are connected together through the web, we realize that the Milky Way alone holds at any rate 10 billion different planets that are of the similar size, temperature, and circle to help life. This difference has overhauled the chance of outsider life from far off to for all expectations and designs are sure. Or on the other hand, consider other elusive products like those in the advanced domain. In the event that 1 million duplicates of the Encyclopedia Britannica were sold for $1,000 each, it would add $1 billion to GDP. The difference with the way that when 1 million clients sign on to Wikipedia, no cash is delivered. Because of wonders like Wikipedia, Humankind is greatly improved regarding time and cash saved, despite the fact that GDP isn't straightforwardly influenced. Furthermore, pretty much anybody can confirm the colossal abundance of schooling and amusement that can be gathered from the web without spending a penny. Final Summary The key message in this book The main renaissance was a time of huge imagination and development yet in addition one of significant pulverization and languishing. 
The present world is from multiple points of view like the Renaissance of 500 years prior, and an authentic viewpoint can focus light on its complexities. You like what you hear? Check out other personal development or business books. This video was made possible by your support. It takes a very long time to make one of our videos, so thanks to your contributions to Patreon and watching our videos. We are slowly able to do more and more of them. If you want to help us out, check out the Patreon page. If you like the contents of this video, check out other books in the description and suggest what book we should cover next.